In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how you can make singing faces for your matrix and mega tree. So let's look in the software and see what is required to make a singing face. So effectively, we need to create images that have these mouth shapes applied to them. So this AI mouth shape is quite a wide open. He is slightly more pursed and then you go and you can see all of these different shapes. So we're going to be building one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shapes. However, some are quite close to each other so you can double up on them if you so wish. So things like rest and MBP, it's not too bad if you use the same image. So that's what we're looking for. Now, just a caveat before I start, I will be using Photoshop. Now I know that's paid software but you can adapt what I'm teaching here for some other three piece, uh, free software like GIMP uh, and other tools. However, Photoshop is my tool of choice. And when you consider how much you've spent on your 50,000 lights covering your house, you know, you know, a monthly rental of Photoshop might be worth it in your case, but I can't, I can't speak for that. Another thing, if you're artistic, it will help. I'm not artistic, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to be drawing my own animations. I'm going to be basing my animation on a cartoon character. And I'm going to be using this cartoon character, Wallace from Wallace and Gromit, to make a singing face. What you can also, if you're building your own, is if you search Google for phony mouth shapes, you'll get all of these different mouth shapes and anime and still images for those phonemes that I mentioned like things like AI and FV so you can you know you can build your own animation and cut and paste these in for the different mouse shapes but imagine now we found several videos and we found a suitable picture that we want to use for our animation and what we need to do we need to find enough images that we can create all of those phonemes and the images must be at the correct orientation so if it's a side view they must all be side view in this case we're just doing a front view and all you would do is use the snipping tool if you're using windows if you're using a mac an appropriate screen capture tool and all i do is new and i just cut the appropriate part of the image out and then copy and then I can go into Photoshop and I can create a new image and it will automatically create it the size of the clipboard and then I can do control V and we've got our first image so I'm thinking that this is probably good for maybe AI so the first thing we need to do is obviously we don't want all of this background so what we're going to do we're going to create what's known as a mask and all we do is use the magnetic lasso and we can cut around the bits that we want to keep you only have to be quite rough at the moment and we just cut around just go really quick you take more time at this but just going to fly around Okay, and you can see like this, I've selected this and now, actually if I delete this mask, if now I create the layer mask now, you can see what it's done. Anything that is black on the layer mask is hidden. And you can see what we can do now is if we click on the layer mask and I change to the brush tool, and I make sure I've got black selected, I can now go in and paint onto the mask to just tidy these, I'll just turn the opacity up, just tidy these black edges up, okay? So you can go through. Now, once you've done that, you could create a new image with all of the different layers. And I've done this already, so. Okay, now what I've done, I've, I've created one layer that's going to represent just 
the bottom part of the image. So this stays constant throughout this uh, and only the face will change. Now, imagine I've got this face, okay? Now what I'm doing, I, I, I know this is going to be my, ooh, yeah, face shape. And I move on and I paste in my next face shape and imagine I've got this one. And what I should do now is, once you've got this, set the opacity lower. So what happens is you can see the other face shape below. And we can, you know, if I move this one out of the way, you can see I've got the new face shape. And what I would do is go to edit, free transform. And this allows me to rotate and resize. So what I would do, I would, I would resize and everything like this so that I could move in. I could make sure I could, you know, that the ears match the size. The eyes were a little bit hot eye there and I can you know just get it close enough you don't have to be perfect I mean it's an animation but there you go and now once I'm done I can apply that and now if we put the opacity back up I can now click between oops, sorry, these two animations here so you've got that one this one and you go through creating all of the animations for the different shapes. There you go. So once you're happy and you've got all the anime, all of the face shapes that you need, just go to, say for instance, this ETC one, and then I go to. Oh, oh one thing I will explain. You notice here I'm turning the layer on and off so with this one on when i save it will just save what we see here if i move to this one it will save this one so let's export this one so click export quick export to png and you can see i have already now saved these but you would now save it with the appropriate extension so for instance give it the name of the character that you're doing and then the letters of the phoneme so you can see Wallace AI Wallace E etc and the Photoshop part is as simple as that you will have to fine-tune get things lined up but if we jump now to our X lights again go to our matrix we can now go to faces Oops, sorry, color curves, faces, and you add a new face, okay, which I've already done, called Wallace, and then you double click in, in this area and you just select, in that case, the AI shape, and it will auto populate all of these for you. Once that is done, we can then go to our sequencer, we can drop on our singing face onto our megatree or our matrix choose Wallace in the list make sure we've got our lyrics track and you know I won't be able to play this long because because of copyright but there you go so that's it that's how you create a singing face until next time see you later